My name's Jenny Weber and I'm the illustrator for It Starts With A Seed. So the illustration process starts with me drawing uh, all the images in fine liner pen first. To prepare the plates, what I do is polish the zinc plates to a mirror shine to get the best possible surface to draw on. Then I place the plates onto a hot plate to warm them up. Then I apply ground, which is a sort of waxy-like substance which is kind of nice because it sort of melts into the plate. Then I use a roller to make a really flat surface. Once it's cooled down, I then smoke it um, by putting it in a funny little wooden contraption and suspending it over a flame, which makes a lovely flat, black, matte surface for me to draw on them with an etching needle. I use a really fine etching needle to get really, really fine lines um, and lots of detail. Um, I have to draw the image flipped because then it'll come out the right way once it's on the printing press. It's then back to the studio and what I'll do is stop out any noise or scratches or marks that I don't want to be etched with stop out varnish. Then it goes into the bath of acid for about 10 or 12 minutes depending on the chemical reaction. The acid is eating into the lines that I've drawn and it means that um, they will create little grooves in which the ink can gather. I brush the plate lightly with a feather to make sure that there are no bubbles or marks from the acid on the etching plate. Uh, the plate comes out and then I take off the ground and the varnish with meths and with white spirit to make sure the plate's all clean and ready for printing. I have to cover the plate with a fat layer of oil-based ink in order to make sure there's ink in all of the little grooves and the lines that I've, that I've just etched. And then gradually tape the ink off with different layers of a sort of cheesecloth-like substance called scrim. The plate goes onto the press. Um, I lay the damp paper over the etching plate and cover it with a layer of thin tissue. Then on go the blankets and I roll the plate through the printing press. Hopefully it's good news um, and the print comes out nicely. I really enjoy applying colour to etchings. It doesn't happen that often. Uh, it's not, again, not part of the sort of traditional etching techniques, but it's a really nice touch and I think it really brings out the lovely line work. I try and make my colours true to nature, so I do a lot of colour samples and collecting uh, bits of bark and photographing trees in parks and in forests um, to make sure there's all the lovely tones of greys and greens and all the different browns in the trunk of the trees and on the branches. I think the reason I've got such a connection with nature is partly due to my mum. She was always uh, interested in conservation and animals. We also lived in the countryside, so I had quite a big garden and spent hours and days playing outside with my brother, making dens. I think the artwork I've done for It Starts With A Seed is particularly detailed, and I would hope that children can spend a lot of time looking at them and appreciating nature on the pages, but I hope children take this way of looking at the book and use it to appreciate the natural world itself.